So if you followed me on Twitter for a while, you may have noticed that I'm a little bit of a fan of space, and so occasionally I'll tweet out links to let you know that a rocket launch is about to happen or some cool footage from NASA or whatever else. But those things have become so common that a lot of people just don't care about it or, you know, they're not that impressed by it anymore. But there's still nothing common about launching thousands of pounds of material into space on top of a rocket filled with explosive fuel. And today's failed launch of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket proves that point. SpaceX was set to launch a mission today that would send 4,000 pounds of material to the International Space Station. And not only is it important because they're sending supplies to people who are, you know, living in space, but it was also the third attempt by SpaceX to test a reusable rocket. So in the past, space exploration has been really expensive because all the components that make up a rocket are disregarded after each launch. So they have to, you know, build it all again. So SpaceX is trying to change that by figuring out how to land part of the rocket back on Earth so that they can reuse it again. And if they ever perfect that, then that's going to save a lot of time and a lot of money. And they've been getting close, but they're not there yet. And today's mission is just another setback. So just after launch, shortly uh, after the two-minute marker, uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket exploded and disintegrated. Now this is actually the first Falcon 9 rocket that they've lost. And so they had launched uh, previously 18 successful missions. Uh, so no matter how many times you get it right, there's always a chance something can go wrong. Uh, but thankfully these are all unmanned missions, so no lives were lost. So this marks the third resupply mission just this year that has failed. Uh, so not all the failures are from SpaceX. And if you're concerned that the space station may not get their supplies, you don't have to worry about that because NASA always has a contingency plan. So they're actually set to launch a rocket with the help of Russia uh, early in July. But it's also been reported that on board that rocket was two Microsoft HoloLens devices. So Microsoft has been working with NASA on a project called Sidekick. And while most gamers may look at HoloLens and they may think about Minecraft, the truth is, HoloLens is going to be a lot more useful to other people in other areas and occupations, a lot more than it's going to be for gamers, more than likely. So, Project Sidekick is going to start off by offering astronauts two different modes. So, here's what they're going to use it for. Like, in one mode called Expert, they're going to be able to, on the ground from mission control, see in real time what the astronauts are seeing. And so they said if you're, you know, on board, you're making repairs or you're doing an experiment, somebody on the ground who's maybe a, a more, a, a bigger expert in that area can be drawing or pointing out in real time what the astronauts need to do or tell them where to go or add annotations. And in another mode, they would allow holograms to be placed over objects that the astronaut is looking at to give them a more detailed uh, description or information about whatever it is that they're trying to complete. So, I mean, the tech is in a lot of ways similar to Connect, And a lot of people, you know, live in their own bubbles. They only pay attention to how something might affect them. So a lot of gamers look at technology like HoloLens or Connect, and they think that Microsoft just wastes all this research and development for gaming. And that's not the case at all. Like, for instance, with Connect. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how this tech has been used in other areas and how it's been sold to hospitals and to military and, you know, in use in robotics. So a lot of also that research and development that went into Connect, for instance, also helped with HoloLens. So it's not just games that Microsoft is researching this stuff for and building these devices. Um, so Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella tweeted out, after the rocket launch that space is hard and NASA were with you and we're ready to try again. So if you want to read more about it, both the HoloLens Sidekick project and also the failed rocket launch, links down in the description box. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.